right hand side. My friend Valerie, Cuban American, she actually owns a uh, business in there called Kwai Universe. In Japanese, Kwai means cute, cute universe. She makes stickers for a living. Has created over 3,000 sticker designs, has been in the business for four years. On your right hand side, that was the Basel House, and behind it is where we had, uh, where we have the Winwood, the Winwood Manas Film Studios. Now we have a treat for you. We're going to see some of the graffiti. Not from the 1980s, but still a large amount of graffiti that we have to remember. This is what brought the art scene into prominence. On the right hand side, da -da 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 expect your gadget to your right. But up ahead to your right hand side, let me show you some characters from Hollywood. Why so serious? Say hello to my little friend. I am the Terminator. And here's Johnny. That's my favorite. Sorry if I was a little bit too loud. On the right hand side, the original gangster mural. Then we have some cyberpunk, cyberpunk artwork coming up to the right as well. Take a picture. To the right hand side, you'll see, a, after the cyberpunk artwork on your right, a political commentary through art on the right. So, here at Big Bus, we like to make a uh, an appearance, a cameo, in our own tours, coming up to the right-hand side. It all started in Wynwood for us, but now we're moving towards Santa Clara, where there's less noise, less artists, less, well, less rental prices. You'd be surprised. An artist could have a studio on the other side of the 95 for probably half what they're paying in Wynwood right now. Volfolia is an art gallery, and the artist, Christopher Moslon, He's an artist of the gallery. He actually painted that. Started eight weeks ago, finished four weeks back, right there. What a beautiful mural. Very surreal as well. Dreamlike. Maybe a reference to lucid dreaming. Maybe. Within the lucidity, you may find the answers to all. <laughs> Yeah, and that's pretty cool artwork that they have there, but it has not been active for a long time. No, inactive right now. Someone does own the building, but no bikes. Dana Dorsey was the first African-American millionaire uh, in Florida. He actually sold some of his land to a man known as Carl G. Fisher, the developer of Miami Beach. He sold him an island which is called Dorsey Island, now known as Fisher Island. Please be careful at low-hanging lights, just in case. And please watch out with the low-hanging trees onto the left up ahead. Once again, sorry we didn't mention the safaris included on the ticket. Now, historic overtone, um, 